Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to access the printer dashboard once your software has been installed on your card printer. So first of all, I want you to type in the search bar control panel. Okay, I want you to go into the control panel and under hardware and sound to go under view devices and printers. I want you to search for your XPS card printer. As you can see, it is saved as XPS card printer. I want you to left click on this and go into printer properties. Okay. So here's all your general printer properties. And I want you to find the IP address uh, to access your printer dashboard. So usually what will happen is that once the software is installed on your uh, PC, you'll be directed to the printer dashboard site. But if you don't, uh, if this doesn't happen, this is the way to go. Okay, so you'll click printer status and I want you to copy this IP address, whether you have a USB or network, okay. So I want you to copy this exact IP address into your device, okay? And what will pop up is um, your login details, okay? So you will type it in, so mine was 169, so I type that in. It will say that it is not secure, so I want you to um, click advanced and click that it is safe and you can log in there's not a problem with um, security you don't need to worry about that um, so you just need to provide your login details um, please make sure to keep your login details safely so that you can go back to them if you need to log in again okay so you will then enter this platform where you can have access to the printer dashboard and everything that goes on with the printer okay I'm not going to go in depth here, but on the main page, you can see how many prints you um, can print until you need to insert a cleaning card. Okay, so here you can see there's 388 prints before you can insert a cleaning card. And um, you can see the amount used on the ribbon. Okay, so you can check the supply details and see 76% was used. So. When it starts to become 15% or lower, you can order supplies from it. Then uh, you can see uh, that you can change your card printer to quiet mode if you wanted to, if you're in a quiet office space. And you can see how the card printer is connected. So ours is connected via USB. If it was network, it would be connected via that. You can see the serial number and how many cards have been printed so far. You can check out the serial number over here, as I said, you can change the LED color as well as look at the device details if um, you want to. Lastly, uh, you can change or you can check for an update on your firmware and update the features on it. And just make sure that you connect this to the internet and yeah, that's about it. You can see how many hoppers, um, what cards are available in which hopper and yeah it's very simple and easy to to use so that's as much in depth as i'm going to go at the moment but yeah thank you for watching